Hi, my name's Anna from Logan City Council. We're here today at Henderson Reserve in Jimboomba to look at the amazing plant Melaleuca urbiana. Melaleuca urbiana is also known as the swamp tea tree. It's a type of paper bark and you can identify it firstly by its papery bark. It's also got quite a unique form and is has drooping branches and they're quite twisty. They droop down and it's most unique feature are the small uh, triangular leaves that it has and as you can see they are actually quite small and from a distance they're quite bright green as well. One thing that's really interesting about Urbiana is that it can grow together and form these really unique communities with hundreds of plants when you walk through an Urbiana community, it's a really amazing experience. It feels like a mysterious forest and I don't think you would get that feeling from any other ecosystem in Australia. These communities are actually really important for a wide variety of species because of the unique habitat they form. For example, there are two rare plants that rely on Urbiana communities. These are the native cornflower and the slender milk vine. You can also find really lovely plants in an Urbiana community such as the blue trumpet and the tick orchid and rare animals such as the black chinned honey eaters and things like echidnas, wallabies and koalas. The reason Melaleuca Urbiana communities are listed as critically endangered is because over 95% of them have been cleared extensively in the past for agriculture. They were once found across large areas of southeast Queensland and now they're mostly found in areas in Logan and Ipswich. We're trying to help Melaleuca urbiana in a couple of ways. Logan City Council has been working with Queensland University of Technology researchers to learn more about this species and its habitat requirements so that we can make sure it's better protected in the future and we can also identify the best areas to plant new trees. Nature of Pacific is also working with Burrell and Prison to collect seeds of Urbiana, propagate the seeds, and then have plants ready to grow in the areas where it's considered most important for more Urbiana. The reason so many of us are working to help this beautiful plant is because we want to see it increase in the future. We want to plant a lot more so there's a larger area of Urbiana, and we also want to connect areas of existing Urbiana so that it strengthens the species and they can cross pollinate who are excited about this beautiful plant or want to find out what other native plants you could grow on your property, please download the free Grow Native app, which will be available in February. You can also visit the Logan City Council website where you can find out locations of Urbiana communities so you too can experience the feeling of walking through this mysterious forest and looking at all the amazing shapes and forms and really appreciating this special ecosystem we have here in Logan.